Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door and barn door treasures on eBay and Digital Diane Designs on Etsy for digitals only. And today we're back working in our flip-flop journal and we're going to decorate the base of the journal today and um, get some pretty papers on it like this. Okay, so I just love how these are turning out. I'm having a lot of fun with these. Um, this is the bigger one. Again, I'm not going to do this one on camera. Um, I will do this one off camera, but you can do as many as you want. Okay, so um, we have our base. This is the base that we made in the last video in the beginning tutorial. So we're going to start with this so I can just kind of show you um, how I decorated it. All right, so the first thing we want to do to make our life easy is to decorate inside our pockets okay so we have two pockets here a large pocket here and then a large pocket here so I'm going to decorate inside this one first so what I'm going to do to make it easy on me I'm going to cut this envelope open don't panic it can go back together real easy okay so I'm going to just move that out of the way so I don't cut that accidentally so I'm just going to do like we did on the last video when we opened up our envelopes. And I'm just going to open them up, open it up on both sides. Ooh, my belly's growling. Did y'all hear that? If you did, I'm sorry. I'm hungry. <laughs> How are y'all today? I hope everybody's doing wonderful. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Um... I'm not sure when this video will air. I'm thinking it will air tomorrow, which is Friday. Um, I'm kind of trying to video ahead a little because of the Thanksgiving holiday that's coming up. And I think we finally nailed down a day that we could all get together with me and the kids and the grandkids. And I think we're going to do ours Sunday because um, some people, some of them are going out of town for actual Thanksgiving Day. All right, so we've got our envelope opened up. Okay, it goes this way. All right, so this is the first little flap, and then this is our envelope pocket, and I've opened it up. And if you remember, I tore it um, when I glued down this flap, but that's okay because we're fixing, we're gonna, we're about to fix that, okay? So now I have my pocket opened up, and I just wanna put some real pretty paper in my pocket to make it pretty for whoever gets the journal so when they look inside their pocket to see what's in there um, whatever goodies are in there they'll also have a pretty background to look at so I have my digitals here from Heather at Ruby and Pearl I absolutely love 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 her digitals um, these are her Christmas digitals I figured we'd go ahead and make this a Christmas one too um, so I'm just going to find um, kind of like a base background that I want to go on here. Ooh, See, I want to do these journals in pinks and greens. So I think I might use this one. Isn't that gorgeous? So, so pretty. Okay, so let's just use that one. Let's set those to the side. So I'm going to go ahead and cut around the edges, and then we'll get this attached. Okay, so I've got the edges cut around, or all the little white pieces cut off, and I put it up against here, and it fits perfect. I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to go ahead and just measure it out before I glue. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to glue first. All right, so I'm just going to put glue on this whole base. I'm going to glue this down real quick so that it doesn't cause us to have a little divot. Um in our pocket okay and then I just have this uh, big old glue page that I got out of a big old book um, that I bought so I'm just gonna put that underneath there and I am just going to add my glue to the inside of my pocket again you can use whatever kind of glue you like um, I love my Uhu glue sticks um, they're a little bit pricey but they're definitely worth it if you can afford it and if you can't afford it Get yourself some Allen's glue. You can use Mod Podge, but it's gonna take it a little bit longer to dry. Um, and you'll have a little bit, you know, 
more time into it, but it's whatever works for you and whatever you can afford. I don't want anybody to put themselves in a bind trying to buy all the fancy products. You know, I've accumulated mine over the years, um, little bits at a time, so that's what you need to do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just line this up at the top. And then I'm gonna line it up on the edges. And then I'm just gonna press it in. Oh my goodness, my stomach is just rolling. I am so hungry. I don't know what's been up with me lately. I don't normally eat breakfast. I'm usually just, you know, give me my coffee and a couple of hours and then I can eat something. But I am getting up earlier right now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just fold this up and tear it off because that's just a little bit longer than our base. Um, but anyways, I don't know. The last two days I've just been really, really hungry. Yesterday, I finally got tired of waiting and I ate lunch at 1130, which is unusual for me. I usually feed me and mom between, you know, I usually stop between 12 and 12.30 and go in there and make us some lunch. Okay, so we've got our base down, and I'm going to give this just a minute to dry. This is not really going to matter a whole lot, because when we decorate this part, we're going to flip it over into here to give it a good um, edge. So it's not going to matter that just, you know, this little tiny bit is showing here. And I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. But I'm just going to let this dry for just a couple of minutes before I fold it closed. And I'll be right back. Okay, I think we're dry. And so in order to help me get a good straight crease, I'll usually take my ruler and just kind of sit it up against where I know the crease is. I'm going to just kind of crease it. And that way you get a good straight fold on your glued page there. Okay, so now this will be our pocket. So this is how it will be. And inside here will be our pocket. And that's what you'll see. How pretty is that? So before I close the pocket up, I want to go ahead and put my base here on this front cover and wrap it over so that I get a good... Um, a pretty edge okay so I've gone ahead and picked what I want to use for the base and I have this one um, I want like I say I wanted to do pinks and greens on this um, journal and so I think I'm gonna just go with it like this this is from Heather Ruby and Pearl as well all right I'm going to get a glue page stick it up under here because I don't want to stick my pocket together yet <laughs> so I'm just gonna glue this down like so and I think I want I want to see these letters or the print kind of in the center and we'll decorate this later okay so I'm just gonna glue that on there rub it in good if you want to, you can take a card or a uh, bone folder or whatever you have and just kind of burnish it down real good. See, we have a little extra left over right here. And then we have a little extra left over right here. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and glue some of that onto this envelope just to give it a little more strength because I think we might put a signature right here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue over here. And if we cover this up, it's fine. Um, this is just basically to give us a little, little extra oomph in our creases. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And then at the bottom, this is a little bit too long. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold it up. And then I'm just going to tear it off. Now, I don't mind having, you know, the uneven. I like that look, and so I leave it like that. Where's my scrap box? There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my ruler, put it at the crease here, 
and go ahead and fold this over. Okay. And then I'll just cut the extra little pieces off of here. Where are my scissors? So I'm just going to cut that little bit right there. And then that little bit right there. And the same thing on this side. Oh, so anyway, I was telling y'all, um, some of my, my family is going to be out of town for Thanksgiving. So we're going to do our Thanksgiving get together on Sunday. So we're doing it a little bit early, but I'm okay with that. I don't like the way that did right there. Just trim that little bit off. Okay. So we have that, and then I want to go ahead and fold this over, and I just want to make a pretty fold here so that we have a nice edge. Okay, so I'm just going to fold it right there. Oh, I folded it a little bit too far. So I'm going to try again. Okay, sorry if you can hear noises. Mom does listen to her phone quite loud. <laughs> it's okay. All right. So I'm not going to put this much on here. So I'm just going to tear a little bit of this off. Just so that it's not as, as wide of a little strip right there. Because basically we're just trying to get a good edge. So, and then I'm just going to put a little glue on the back of here. And glue that down. Okay, and now we're ready to close up our pocket because we have our base done. Okay, no, we're not going to close up the pocket yet, and I'll tell you why. Because right here, I don't want this little white piece here in this crease when, you know, see how that pocket is? So we're going to go ahead and put a little bit extra here and, and put something down here before we close up our pocket as well. So, let's see... Okay, so Heather has this really beautiful pattern in one of her Christmas kits. I can't remember which one. Just go look. She has four Christmas kits that I got. I think I got Christmas Morning, Star Shining Bright, Peace on Earth, and Silent Night. Those were the four digital kits that I got from her. So it's in one of those. I can't remember which one, but oh my goodness. If you go get those digital kits, you're going to be in love, so it'll be okay. So I think I want to put this here because I just, as this might be my most favorite pattern on her website. I absolutely love, love, love this pattern. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to do the little divots here just for fun. Actually, I think it might be better if I tear it. I think that's what I'll do. It goes faster anyway. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this off the top because I want to line up the top. Actually, I'm just going to tear it on the top too. Sometimes, y'all know with me being left-handed and, you know... If you've been here any time at all, you know I can't cut worth a two. I can't, cannot cut a straight line. <laughs> so, okay, so I think I like that there. But before I put that there, I want to put something in this window because I want to utilize um, this fun little window here. So, we need to pick an image. And so, I'm just going to kind of give you a little, <laughs> a little sneak peek. These are... The kits of Heather's. Oh, I think I like this one. I think I've already picked which one I want in there, but we'll see. Um, but these are the kits. Let me just look and see if this is going to fit this one. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, yeah, it'll fit. 
because you'll just see the little words in there. Let me just look. Oh yeah, isn't she sweet? Oh, I like her. Okay, we're gonna put her in there. So, in order for us to get her where we want her, I'm gonna slide her down just a little. Okay, that's where we're gonna put her. So then I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right here. And when I'm gluing on this plastic, I like to use the Fabri-Tac because it just holds a little bit better on the plastic. So, oops, my glue is all goopy. Look at that. Got a whole big glob in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here up this side to get me started and lay that down so that I know that it's in the right spot that I want it. And I'm just gonna double check it again just to make sure it's where I want it. Okay, good deal. And then I'm just gonna come over here and fold some of this off of it and tear it a little bit shorter because I don't want all that bulk. Okay. So we'll just take that off. And then I'm gonna turn it around and go ahead and glue all the way around the edges of our plastic. Okay, glue. There we go. I need to, I need to put some, um, fingernail polish remover in that glue and thin it out a little bit. Whoops, that's moved a little bit. Let me just make sure we got it where we want it. That's the good thing about the Fabri-Tac too. If you have a little bit of wiggle room, if you, you know, need to move it around a little bit. Yeah, she's pretty right there. Okay, so now that we have her down where we want her, I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, art glitter glue and just glue these edges down real good and make sure that they're not gonna pop up and get in the way or cause me any problems. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue that down real quick. Okay, so I've got her glued down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring back in my page here. And as you can see, it's gonna lap over here just enough to give it a pretty edge over here, and it's gonna lap over this crease just enough um, to give it a pretty edge over there. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put my glue down. I'm just gonna put it on this middle piece though. For now, I am going to go ahead and run a little bit down the edge of that, though. because, But I'm going to leave it open a little bit over here on the edge. Because I don't know yet if I want to slide something underneath the edge of this or if I want to cover the edge of that. So, I'm just leaving open my options. Okay, so I've got my glue on there. And I'm just going to kind of line it up at the top. Like so. Here we go. And again, I'm just going to burnish that down. Oops. See, I left this kind of open. I didn't put any glue under there. I was about to panic. I thought I did. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to fold this up and get rid of the excess. Tear it away. And again, I don't mind. I love, actually, the jaggedy edge. Okay. So now that we have that part done, we can go ahead and close up our pocket. I'm going to close up my glue because if I don't, it's going to dry out. Okay, so I need to let that dry a little bit first. But while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and close up the pocket here. And then we can do our folds once that dries good. Let me move some of this out of the way so that I can have a little more room to work. Okay, so now I have this little extra strip that I tore off the bottom of this um, piece here. And so I'm just gonna use this to make a hinge for my envelope. And I'll show you what I mean when I, not really a hinge, but it's gonna be like a gusset 
for my envelope. So I'm going to tear it there. And then I'm going to get me, I'm going to have two pieces that are the same size. Okay. And I'm going to tear these apart. And I'm going to fold them in half. Long ways. So, like that. Okay. And then I'm going to just cut a little triangle off of both ends of each one of these. Just so that you don't see these pieces, extra pieces of paper sticking up out of the pocket. And you'll you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect. Okay. So the whole point of this is just to relax and enjoy the process. All right. So I'm going to take my glue. You can use glue stick or wet glue. I'm going to use glue stick because it's right here in my face. <laughs> and I'm just going to put some glue on there. And then I'm going to glue this down to the edge here. Oh my goodness. Y'all can't even see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. I'm such a nerd. Okay. So we're going to glue that one down. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. And glue this one down. You want your fold to be to the outer edge of your pocket. Okay. I'm going to turn this around where I can see a little better. So see my fold is to the outside. Okay, and I'm just going to line that up to the fold there. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to put glue here. And then I'm going to put glue here. And then I'm just going to close this pocket up and it's going to attach to those little gussets and that way we have room in our pocket to slide something down in there. So that's how you can cut your pocket open and then close it back up and not lose any room in your envelope. All right, so now we have our pocket there. I'm going to go ahead and fold this now that it's dry and get us a nice crease there and I'm going to leave that one alone for a minute okay so see now we have our pocket in there and I probably should have I should have turned my little pieces to where the white part was glued but I didn't so it is what it is but just for future reference when you fold your little pieces like this, like when you fold it in half, make sure the white is the part that you glue to each side of your pocket instead of the decorative part, which is what I did. <laughs> I'll show you on this one. Okay, where are we on our time? We're at 23 minutes. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and decorate the inside of this pocket real quick, and then we'll call it a video, and we'll come back and finish decorating the rest of our base in another video. That way these aren't too long. And it doesn't take me forever to upload them. All right, so this front little envelope here, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to open it up. On both ends. So it folds out like this. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pick a paper to go here. And we're going to pick something to go in our little window. Okay, so I picked some images that I want to go in the window. So I have this one. I'm absolutely in love with this girl. I would put her in every journal. And then I thought she would be super cute. And that way you get the pinks and the greens. This is more of like a teal green, but I love it. So I'm going to put her in the bigger window and her in the smaller window. Okay, so they'll peek through like that. Aren't they pretty? How cute are they? Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put, I've got one of my, my ledgers um, that's in, I think this one's in the portrait style ledger kit in my shop. And I'm going to put it 
here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glue down and get it glued on. Okay, so I've got it glued in. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my fold. There we go. And then you see how I have this little extra here? I'm going to fold that over and give us a nice pretty edge here. And it doesn't matter if the white part shows because that's going to get covered up anyway because we're going to we're going to collage on the front of this and decorate it. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue on that. I don't think I finished telling y'all my story. I keep getting sidetracked trying to show you how to do this and I'm trying to tell you a story at the same time and whoo squirrel <laughs> it's okay though I will look back on the video and go oh my gosh I cannot believe I did that <laughs> all right I'm going to glue this one down too and fold it over the edge as well again just giving this a clean pretty edge and again this will be covered over so you won't see the white And this just gives a little extra support and stability to, to our base, okay? So now we have that. I'm going to go ahead and fold this up real quick. Where's my ruler? Okay. Fold that in so that we have a little bit more room to work with here. Okay, so now we just need to put our gussets on this pocket. Yeah, I'm liking this. All right, so um, I'll just take the little piece that I tore off the bottom of this, and that way it kind of matches. I'm going to fold it right here. And then make two even pieces. I'm not really going to worry about that white edge because you're really not going to see it. Okay, I'm going to split these in two. I'm going to fold this in half. Fold this in half. And see how I'm folding it where the, um, the ledger part's printed on the inside versus how I did it the last time and it didn't turn out right <laughs> we learn from our mistakes right okay then I'm gonna cut my little triangles off of both ends I'm gonna glue these down like that and we're going to put a little glue here and a little glue here. Fold it shut. Sorry if you can hear mom's phone. Just like that. And then we have our pocket there. Just like that. So see the difference in how that just kind of blends in because I didn't put the white side <laughs> like that. But it's okay. All right, so we got our pockets decorated on the insides, both of our pockets, and we've added this little piece here, and um, we've added some goodies in our windows. Um, and we'll still have to add some in these windows, but we'll do that in the next videos. So I think I'm gonna stop the video here for now, um, just simply because I'm starving. I have to go feed me and I have to make mom some lunch. And um, we'll come back in the next video and we'll keep going and we'll, um, we'll, we'll probably get the rest of our base decorated in the next video. And then we'll go from there and add our pages and we're going to have so much fun. I hope y'all are enjoying this series. I hope you're having fun. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Let me know any um, ideas or suggestions that y'all have. You can put those in the comment box below. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to have a beautiful day. Big hugs.